What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica. So, last episode, we started a fresh new series, a fresh new game. That's right, super early. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue the series. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. Seems like you enjoyed the first episode pretty good. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's continue some things, shall we? Now, I'm going to try to slow things down a little bit. I feel like we went a little quick in the last episode. We were kind of excited. It wasn't fully explaining stuff along the way. Well, now we'll do that. We'll try. I'll try because I, I still get excited and I still run off and do so. Anyways, okay. So, uh, we got com some copper ore. We got some silver ore. We got some gold. Now, I really I really want the scanner or the, the habitat module, the habitat builder tool, this guy. However, yeah, you know what? We're going to go for it. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for the habitat builder. And then I think we're going to go scan a room and get some base building done. So this is a base building episode, hopefully, maybe, kind of, sort of. I don't know. But uh, yes, if you guys enjoy the episode, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Also, uh, let's see. What is today? The day this comes out. Ooh. Ooh. We just had a giveaway finish, actually. Darn. Darn. Never mind. Anyways, uh, so we need a computer chip, wiring kit, and a battery. Those are all super easy to make. Wiring kit. Boom. Done skis. And then we need a computer chip. So we have copper wire. Table coral. Table coral. We need table coral. Let's go get some table coral, shall we? Table coral is not. Oh, wow. It's like super dark. Table coral is not the giant tubes. Those things. It's these things right here. That is what you are after. That's what you're looking for. Now, all of these pieces can actually be picked up and you can get like get a ton of these things. Super super easy like a so but you don't need a whole lot of them for anything honestly where is <gasps> there it is found it all right so we need the computer chip easy enough come on all right we got the computer chip and do we have the tools 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 what are we missing a battery oh man i don't know Ugh. i need some mushrooms let's grab one two three we'll go ahead and throw some of those in there uh we'll grab a few because we're gonna need some batteries for our uh our sea glide anyways we're about to make a journey we're about to go on a journey so we'll go ahead and make another one wonderful wonderful this guy and actually pro tip here you guys ready for this before you make anything with a battery replace the battery of any of your things that aren't fully charged already so this guy 86 percent this guy 100 percent we're gonna swap those out because now you have a battery with 86 percent charge and a battery with 36 percent charge so i'm gonna put the one with 86 percent charge away so the only battery i have is the one that's like primarily dead any hoozles and we're gonna use that to make our habitat builder and i don't think it's gonna bother it's not gonna matter 100 percent wonderful so that guy is now 100%. So basically, we just got a fully charged battery for free. I know. I like it too. It's a good time. Okay, so we have that. We have those. We have this. Can I build? Can I build a? Uh, can I build this guy in here? No. <laughs> Darn it. Was really hoping that'd be a thing. All right. So uh, we need some food. We need some water. We're gonna take those with us, and then we're gonna leave some stuff here because we're about to get a whole bunch of goodies. Well, I mean, we're not gonna get a ton of goodies, but we're gonna get some goodies. Let's just go ahead and consume that. Ooh, we need some more water. We need, what do we need for the, the water locker deal? We only need titanium for that. Let's go ahead and just grab that bit of titanium, make one of those. And I, my inventory is too full and I want to make sure I have enough inventory space to go grab some things once, once we're over at said island. So let's go ahead. Let's grab this guy, grab you, put you in. Hey, hey, hey. you didn't, you didn't get this slot there. Fantastic. <gasps> Wonderful. This one. Uh, we'll go ahead and place it next to this guy. Ta da! Look at that. We did a thing. That one's deflated. This one's inflated. <laughs> All right. So let's put that away. And we're going to. Oh, I just ate that. Did not realize you could eat that. I feel like a dummy. All right. So we have those open storage. That's full titanium. Fantastic. All right. So we need some. We need some, we need some food. Let's grab. Let's grab some bladder fish. Let's grab some food. Um, oh, wait, salt, salt, and what is it? Is it table coral or is it coral tube? Actually makes the, the bleach, and one bleach actually makes a pretty decent amount of water. We might go that route instead of the bladder. You know, I say that, but now I'm not going to be able to find any salt anywhere. <laughs> oh, 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 mobile vehicle bay fragment. We only needed one more. <gasps> winning. Guys, we're winning again. I know, right? It's amazing. 
uh we're doing the winning stuff it's amazing okay so uh i only saw one i only got one thing of salt no i got two i have two things of salt do we have any more no we don't and my water's super low we gotta go back we gotta we gotta do what we gotta do to survive here all right let's see what do i need for bleach bleach salt deposit and coral tube cool got the coral tube from the giant tubes of cor coral tubes i'm aware thank you working on it disinfected water times two so this is gonna give us two water for essentially every salt and every um yes i'm working on it there look at that okay fantastic oh my goodness so uh one salt one coral tube actually gives you two water which is it's quite well and they are actually the larger water so you can see that this guy right here that we got we got that from the bladder fish that is a six ounce bottle that gives us 20. this is a 12 ounce bottle that gives us 30 which is kind of weird you would think you know like oh double the water would be like you know double the eight no it doesn't work that way also this one says it's non-vegetarian <laughs> oh that is so funny that is too funny okay so we have that um we could probably use to grab some food as well you know what i'm gonna do that we're gonna grab some food water i'm gonna prepare i'll see you back when i'm done perfect so we got a whole bunch of food we got some water stuff going on well i gotta make it first but also uh in the beginning like i was wondering i was like my screen looked super blurry for some reason my depth of field turned back on and i'm not a depth of field kind of person like i just want my game as clear as i can see so yeah you might see a little bit difference now so the coral tube for the bleach is from these guys you just literally just who who whoa where were you oh no stupid stupid you stupid where was that guy i don't <laughs> it just like came out of the ground you know what i bet you uh i bet you there's a cave uh <laughs> that's that's not the cave guys where did that thing come from? What a jerk came out of nowhere and just destroyed. Unless, was it inside of this thing? No. No, it wasn't. What? Oh, nope. Nope, there was, uh, there's a cave. Oh, he came from, how did, wow. I don't understand how he uh, triggered him from that far. Okay, anyways, continuing on. We're gonna go make some more food, more water, more stuff like that. And then we're gonna head towards the island. All right, perfect. I think we're good to go. So I made a cooked peeper. Local the radiation radiation suggests the Aurora's drive core has reached. Oh, oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh, it's not quite time. Okay. Not quite time yet. It'll count down eventually. All right. So what are we doing? Uh, we are grabbing, we're going to grab, grab this guy and I have a whole bunch of peepers in here. Ooh, what should I do with this? Oh, I had some table curl. Well, that, that was table curl. I didn't need that. Uh, I think we have a little bit of room for stuff. We're going to need some water anyways. Uh, let's just consume that consume that our food is good but let's go ahead and eat the cooked peeper because these do deteriorate over time but the cured ones will stay around for a little bit longer let's go and use that and i think we are good to go do we have okay we'll use that we'll keep that battery as a backup this guy is at a hundred percent which is fantastic wait do i have a bladder fit yeah let's oh darn it i just ate a raw fish <laughs> that's unfortunate all right so where are we heading well if you if you hang out up here and you can't see this cloudage this clouded island right there don't worry just head towards the back of the aurora so you're just gonna literally go like where the where the thrusters what in the heck is going on i'm not doing anything what was that oh it's you are you pushing me around man <laughs> that's super weird all right so we're gonna head all the way over there it should not take us long with the sea glide normally i wait till i have the sea moth uh, we could actually make the sea moth, but we're just going to go on the sea glide. Swim over there real quick. No problemo. I'll see you when we get there. So like I said, just heading towards that, that aisle. Man, it's dark. Ugh, I don't want to go over here when it's dark. Oh, well, we'll be fine. What? <laughs> what? It was... I don't know what happened. It was nighttime. And I literally went underwater and it just like flashed today. I was like, wait, what's going on here? Interesting. Okay. Um, so this island, as long as you stay towards the surface of it, you're fine. There's no, you don't have to worry about any bad hombres. Now, if you start going further over there beyond the Aurora on the other side, that's where you're going to run into your Leviathans, and those are never fun. The first encounter is never a good time. So to get on this island, there's a few ways to do it, but the one way that I like to do it, if you just go underneath and kind of look up, there's a uh, there's a hole in the island. It's a pool right here. Probably one of the easier ways, and I think there's actually a, da a, a data pad on right there. Yep, so we're going to grab that guy. And you can see there's a couple little... Uh, little cave deals so let's grab that and perfect scanning scan stuff all right we're gonna swim over here into this little cave part and we are gonna make um a kind of a mad dash i guess 
to get the things scanned that we want to get scanned. So there's a few things on here. You can scan actually like all of this stuff, like all these different types of plants and stuff like that. You can scan and we might come back and do that, but not like super important. You're going to come out here. Cool. Looks fun. Uh, there's kind of some pathways that you can take to get to. There's a bumble tree. Actually, I think this guy gives us a uh, bulbo fruit, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Uh, but there are some kind of pathways you can kind of see that lead up towards the top. So look at now it's like dark. <laughs> what is going on here? I don't even know. But those are what we're after. There's a, there's a thing up there. There's some stuff on the other side. There's like a after on the other side of this mountain range deal. Actually, I think we kind of need to go back. Yeah, we kind of need to go over here and we need to make our way over this island towards the middle part because I think this is where we is this kind of where we came up at. I think this is kind of where we came up at. So we're going to head right on over here. You don't have to follow the paths. It just makes things easier. But there's also crabs that we have to worry about too. Killer crabs. They're just they're just not friendly. <laughs> and you're gonna see them like scuttling about. So we're gonna have to take out a few of them. Just like this guy. Hiya! 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 Got him. There's one. One down. Ooh! I can hear the scuttling. Oh, oh, he's in there. Okay, cool. Easy enough. All right. So scan exterior grow bed. This is gonna allow you to grow things on the outside of your habitat. Wow. Chinese potato. Food is plus 12 plus three. Marble melon plus 11 plus seven. Let's scan this guy. If I'm not mistaken, I think I typically use the, there's a fruit tree in here that we're gonna see as well. Come here, come, come here, come here. Got you. Hey, I got you twice. Okay, three times, <laughs> three times the charm. Anything there? Nope. Uh, Stasis rifle fragment. That's always good. I guess we'll I guess we'll scan the cave crawler. Why not? Perfect. Okay, looks good. Now, purple tablet. First one. Oh yeah. Look at that guy. Amazing. I know. PDA, absolutely. And a desk. Because why not? Wall planter? This does actually nothing. It's just it's purely decorative. So uh wait, hold on. Oh, the multi-purpose room! <laughs> we gotta this is the main room we came here for. So if you guys are looking for the multi-purpose room where you want to start base building, this is where you're going to find your multi-purpose room. There are a couple other places you can find a multi-purpose room. I'm not positive if you can actually scan them because typically we already have it. So a bulkhead, absolutely. So pretty much just scan like absolutely everything. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop up here, over here and here. We got a data box. What are we going to get? Ultra glide fins. Yes, please. Sign me up. Use ladder. Sure. Is there a creeper calling in here or did he get out? He got out. Okay, cool. Battery, I'll take that. PDA, wonderful. That creepy crawlies. What? Oh, specimen with sim symptoms of infection. Ooh, not good. Okay. Anyways, moving on, because we have more things to scan. Like I said, we got to go up top of the mountain. Uh, so basically, you just kind of run up here and figure out. So there's one there, and I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's another one on that. Let's go this one over here first. This one looks a little bit closer. And we have arrived. Stasis rifle fragment. I think so. I don't remember these being here. Interesting. I really actually don't remember those Backward. those being there. I wonder if that's something that's changed. Inventory's full. Let's go ahead. Let's let's drop those Chinese potatoes. Drink some water. Looks good. We'll pick up that water. And these, these are what I like. So these lantern fruit deals, plus 10, plus 30. However, look how many it makes. It makes a ton of these. It's absolutely amazing. I know it's it's great. So we're going to scan that guy. It doesn't really do anything after you scan the plant. It kind of gives you information about it. We're going to scan the observatory because we want the observatory because it's cool, right? You want this glass bubble underwater. And we're going to scan the interior grow bed. This allows us to grow plants inside of our habitat. I know it's amazing. Who would have known, right? Absolutely. Okay. So those are good. Those are good. Those are good. Uh, you know, I'm actually thinking that I used to actually just plant melons and not the lantern fruit. We might grab some melons because there's the, the bulbo melons here that we saw earlier. Oh my gosh, look at this. Beautiful out here. It goes between dark and light so quickly. Wow. All right, so we're going to head over there. Basically, you just fall around. You like see the path right there. You just kind of go around and up and to the, to the place. So um, I trust you guys can handle that. And we've arrived. Ooh spotlight almost forgot about that guy i think there was some on the other one too if i'm not mistaken um i think it's the marble melon that we like i'm pretty sure it is i think a full grown marble melon is actually a better deal so let's go ahead and drop oh Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred <gasps> in no drive core. 
Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. Where's Oh my gosh. It's going. Oh. Shockwave and all. So cool. I mean, not cool, but like kind of cool at the same time. Oh, radiation suit. Yeah, we got radiation suit. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this marble melon because I think... Full training sp wait, what? That was that was a marble melon. Oh, wait, marble melons are small. Yeah, I think marble melons actually give you a little bit more bang for your buck, if I'm not mistaken. So that's cool. All right, PDA. Can't scan anything else. All right, looks good. And I think that's pretty much everything for here. Chinese potato. Okay, so I have Chinese potato, Chinese potato, lantern fruit, marble melon. All right, perfect. So I think we're pretty much good with everything on here. Uh, Was there anything else? Okay, there's nothing else over here. You know what I'm thinking? There was, I think there's a PDA laying outside of one of these. I don't know which one it is. That's fine. We're, we'll be all right. All right, so we're going to head back now. And I think we're good. I think we came, we got everything we came here for. I think we scanned everything down there, if I'm not mistaken. We did. That's good. That's good. And yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. We got everything we need here. Wonderful, wonderful. I know. So I think we're just going to go ahead. We're going to jump in the water right here and call it good. Oh, let's jump off the bridge. We have to jump off the bridge. We must jump off the bridge. Look at that. So yeah, you could also come in here, land in here. Um, actually, no, there's no way to get up here. So yeah, never mind. Scratch that. Whee! All right. Perfect. All right. So we're going to head back and we're going to start building ourselves a habitat. It's gonna be our first little base. It's gonna be amazing. And we're back. We're officially at home. So um, I'm gonna need some titanium in order to get the things built that we need. Let's see, do, do you have the titanium? Perfect, okay, so switch container. That looks good. Let's get our habitat builder tool out and we gotta start with a habitat, right? Absolutely, multi-purpose, no, darn it. I'm, <laughs> I am one, I only need one, this is terrible. Okay, let's just go ahead and drop, drop those. Perfect, okay. So where do we wanna build our base? That is the million dollar question because I wanna have room for a moon pool and the moon pool, I want to be like over this area because we're gonna be driving a sea moth around or Piloting? I guess it's piloting a sea moth, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, you know what? I don't think I've ever tried to build one like right here. Can I even do it? Might not be. Oh, uh, I don't like that. Why can't I put it like right? <laughs> I want to like right, right here, like a little lower, maybe? No, maybe we should put it. Could put it right here, maybe? Let's see. How does that look? Does that give us? That's not too terrible. Pretty good spot we can build yeah that'll be good all right so let's get this guy built up and oh my gosh we're gonna be able to get storage and all the things it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be absolutely amazing but we need a hatch so i need titanium and quartz it may be prudent to separate work and spaces to oh yeah treat this space as your home but never forget that it's not that's such words of encouragement there you're wonderful. Let's get a hatch on this guy, shall we? Um, let's see. We'll do a hatch right here. Perfect. And we have our first little base place. Yeah, I know. There's no oxygen in here. So uh, we gotta get <laughs> we gotta get some power out here. But that's super easily solved with a solar panel. Let's see, exterior modules, solar panel. Uh, we need copper and quartz times two. Let's see if we have that. I know we have the copper, but do we have the quartz? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't have, we don't unfortunately have the quartz. Okay, so let's, let's see. Quartz, 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 quartz. Caves. Caves are great for quartz. Caves are also really good for explodey fish. Yep, like that. <laughs> and like that one. Okay. <laughs> They're terrible. Ugh. What a horrible life to live, you know? Like, is your one purpose in life just to explode? That's terrible. Hey, here's some quartz. Okay, quartz and quartz and quartz. And I think my inventory is probably full. It is. We need some storage. This is terrible. Okay, so where's my base? Right here. Fantastic. All right, let's get ourselves a solar panel, 
shall we? We'll just place this literally right here on the top because why not? Power my base place, please. That's what I need of you. <gasps> Habitat restored. All primary systems online. Thank you. What a welcome home. I know, right? Okay. Now, uh, titanium. Oh, good. Okay. So we're going to build our first little storage deal because we're so low on being able to store anything. It's just terrible right now. First thing, storage going right here. Now, there's a few ways that you can uh, adjust this and make it a little bit more. What you can do is you can actually rotate the guy and you can put them long ways if you like. They do have to stick out kind of far though. But if you get two of them, put them back to back, it actually looks kind of cool. All right, so we'll put the first one right there. And then essentially what I'm going to do is just get another one, place the back of it like this. And then it looks like kind of like one round corner deal. I don't think I have the stuff for another one though. Yeah, I'm out of the quartz. Let's go grab another quartz. We'll get two storages made. Some call it overkill. I call it preparation. All right, time for our second storage here. We can go ahead and get this guy rotated around. And that looks pretty good. We'll see how close we line that up. <gasps> Ta -da. And yeah, see, it kind of looks like a little, uh, almost looks like a little server rack, but you can access this side and you can access this side. I know it's amazing, right? <gasps> no, what am I doing? I just ate those. Oh man, I have to go back now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> no, I can't believe I did that. Oh, we're gonna have to go back and get those at some point. That's fine. We'll be fine. Um, okay, so those are in there. That looks good. Good gosh. I can't even believe I did that. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can believe I did that. All right, so let's see. I'm curious. The fabricator up here used to be, was it this one? It used to be deconstructible. It says, it says I can, but no, it won't let me. Okay, I was gonna say that this thing used to be deconstructible. It doesn't look like that it is anymore. Nope, that one's not. Okay. All right. Well, darn. I was hoping it was because at one point this used to be deconstructible and then you would just like literally move it into your base. But now you actually have to make a whole nother one, which is kind of, you know, kind of stinks, but that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Next, we need to get our food and water situation figured out, which the melons will do just that. But I want to have a whole room dedicated to that. So we're gonna need some titanium. Uh, did we get a bed yet by any chance? Because a bed would be really nice to be able to sleep in and be able to skip the night. I mean, the night doesn't last too long, but still. Uh, does not look like we got a bed. Okay, because that would have been with miscellaneous stuff. Interior grow bed, four titanium. So we're gonna need a bunch of titanium right now. That's pretty much pretty much what I'm seeing. Oh, hey, we can scan a trash can. Oh, we've already been over here. I guess not. Uh, is that a coffee maker right next to it? Oh, we can pick up a fluid, fluid analyzer. Huh, I thought we already went over here. What's this? Vending machine. We absolutely need a vending machine for our snacks. That would be super amazing. And is there anything else? Like, oh, there's a forklift. Sea glide fragment. Hey, that's titanium. Free titanium. Sea glide fragment. That'd be kind of cool. Beacon fragment. Wait, did we need another beacon fragment? Oh, we did. Perfect. Uh, sample analyzer. Anything else good hiding around in here? Mm, I don't really see anything. Okay, back to collecting titanium. Perfect. Titanium has been acquired. We can go ahead. We can start building on. Now, you do have to be kind of careful when it comes to building stuff, especially early game because these things will actually um they actually lower your your hull integrity so once this finishes it'll say like negative five to hull integrity and you got to make sure your hull integrity is over zero so our total strength is 6.5 now the reason you gotta be careful is because right now we don't really have a way to increase that because you have to build where are they at these guys the reinforcements but we don't have lithium yet so i do want to be a little careful make sure we're not you know going too crazy on the uh the expansions yet we can go ahead and head over here and where are where's my interior that's exterior module grow bed perfect okay so i want a couple of these guys so we'll put one right there perfect and then we'll do another one like right here all right that looks pretty good let's go grab our seeds start planting some things and then oh i was too far away <laughs> All right, so switch container, switch container, switch container. I can't, oh man, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> use planter, switch container. Fantastic. We'll use this one and we'll plant those there. Okay. So those actually, hold on a second. Those aren't seeds. We got to cut these bad boys. There we go. Okay. Now we have the seeds. Okay. So use the planter and let's go ahead and plant our marble melon seeds. I think these are typically what I use for uh for food for the most part but wonderful wonderful those are gonna start growing doing the thing that's gonna give us some food and water a little bit more reliable until we get the actual like water filtration machine going see what are some other things that we need well we need a uh we need a fabricator oh that's actually not bad did they make that cheaper fabricator gold table coral sample radio is kind of tight what those i feel like those are way cheaper now 
I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like they're cheaper. Okay. And then, hmm, we could do a bioreactor. I mean, that would give us power, but we have solar power right now. And I don't think we're going to need too much other stuff. All these should just be titanium, except for this one's glass. And I think something else. Uh, Yeah, copper wire is a sign. Let's grab, let's grab some t golden table coral and copper uh we got some gold we got some copper and some table coral. <laughs> we already had everything we need wonderful yeah winning all right so we'll put up our fabricator right here might as well and then we'll put up our radio the radio is not super important because we have a deal uh like literally right up there but that's fine now this guy is actually really handy but since we're so close to it i'm not gonna worry about building another one and uh we're gonna need power eventually though because once we start fabricating all much stuff, our powers are gonna go down pretty quick. But let's go ahead, let's play the radio messages real quick. Uh oh. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okie dokie. So the approximate position of one. I mean, that's that's fine. That's not a huge deal. How are my little melons growing? Oh, look at them growing. Oh, they're so cute. And we have a little Chinese potato deal over there. Wonderful, wonderful. Things are looking good. We're doing the things. Um, let's see. What are some other things? Actually, you know what? Let's make a trash can because why not? Because a trash can, what it does is it just deletes items essentially, so you don't have to drop them. So if your inventory is full, you just throw it in the trash can, you leave it, boom, come back, it's empty. It's it's actually quite it's quite nice. Um, and then we have some storage. We have some things. We have a basic base going here. We have a little bit of food. Uh, the melons are also a little bit of water. Hmm. Can we build a foundation yet? Lead times two. I feel like we have some lead. Okay, we have four lead. Ooh, actually, hold on. Before we do that. Let's see what we need for the radiation suit. All right, radiation suit is fabric mesh and fiber mesh, or lead and fiber mesh. That's not terrible. We do need a rebreather. That's not terrible. Should we go ahead and make the radiation suit? We probably should before we get too crazy. I know I have some fiber mesh. I think it's in this one up here. Perfect, two fiber mesh. We will take those and I don't think I need... We'll take the silicone. Okay, that looks pretty good. Does this have another one? Yes, it does. Wonderful. All right, so let's make a radiation suit first before we try to make anything else. All right, radiation suit coming online. Ta-da! We got a radi radiation suit and it auto-equipped. Wonderful, wonderful. And then we do want a rebreather as well. Uh, wiring kit, fiber mesh. Wait, how much was that? Was that two? Oh, it was two fiber mesh. Okay, so I'm gonna need a wiring kit and fiber mesh for a rebreather that is going going to allow us to go uh dive deeper without losing oxygen faster because after 100 meters you start losing oxygen faster after 200 you start losing it way faster unless you have a rebreather <laughs> on but i need a wiring kit which is what silver yeah it's too silver for a wiring kit do we have any water uh let's go ahead and drink that i don't know if i have any silver left okay i have one silver and i don't think there's anything in here it says empty you know what let's just take everything out of here and then let's just pack these guys up perfect those guys are packed up gone away we could leave those floating out here in case we need storage for something but i don't think we're gonna need them for anything we have we have storage inside now i mean we could just store them in here but they take up quite a bit of room we'll just store them in here for now it'll be fine so we'll throw those in there we'll throw those in there as well i need more silver though for a rebreather now yeah, we'll be fine okay i want to see if i can get a foundation on here or if i had to make that first <laughs> foundation okay so we'll put a foundation right here lead times two. Oh, it added to base hole integrity fantastic and then exterior we all want exterior grow beds and these are going to come into uh to play later because there's going to be some things that we're going to want to grow that are like not super close to the base Survival strategy. It is a proven survival Green strategy. Salad of live tree roaches and stank root. That sounds terrible. That's a horrible way to live. My goodness. Okay. So we can plant plants in here. These are going to be for like the exterior plants that grow in the water. Easy enough. But uh, we're going to use those a little bit later for a few things. So we're gonna have to go out and find silver for the rebreather. We have some plants growing. I think we're doing pretty good. What do you guys think? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video because that's gonna end it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And like I said, hopefully you guys have a fantastic weekend or weekend. And I'll see you in the next one.